Let there be light. Yep. All right, Bullington, you need to go back out of the way. Go on, Norm, go away. Go on. Away. Get away. Twisted. I had a, that's taking some force, haven't it? Oh! Yeah. Yeah, loads. yeah, loads of force. Yeah. You got a loose nut. Yeah. Never good. Can't remember. Whoa! Whoa. Good job I got ninja like reflexes. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I thought. Not that I used them there because I didn't see it kick me until it was too late. So good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Being chased by sheep. Um, you saw us run out of these cows. These are the ones that we bolus, shaved their backs, weighed, and they came in back along. I'll just make sure that I'm not in the way of these sheep. Now well on Tom. Oh. Orange man with orange shovel. Wins today. Right. Ready? Let's have a go. Come on, Tubbs. Oh, there we go. Well done. Oh, Why have they got to be awkward? Right, that's it. That's it. You've angered me. Tom! Oh. Okay. Huh. But basically, yes, these are. Uh... Huh? Two two seven seven. These um. How much? Oh, amazing. That's like um. It used to be like pub yields, but kind of Twitter yields. Twitter yields, yes. Yeah. Here we get some plug on Twitter going. Oh yeah, yeah my cow's. This one's five six six. Five hundred and sixty-six kilograms. Well, they will grow a nice stink. Yeah. That's what they say. My cattle are doing 2.5 kilos a day on sticks and mud. <laughs> well, that one that was not very good, that had liver damage, we gave it this. What is this? I guess pro liver. And it had some. Gotta get this right, because. Go on. Flactulex. Yeah. Sounds like flactulence. <laughs> yeah, all these calves that we brought in that had the mineral deficiency that we bolused, along with the big one that really wasn't very well that had liver damage. We're just running them through the crush to weigh them and see how they're getting on. And so far, the first route we've done here, which is the big six, are growing really, really well. In with holding. 140 kilograms. Nice. the cows. Right, that's pretty bright, isn't it? Um, all the cows are now back in the shed here. I've just come in with a man or two and squared the food up a bit to make sure they've all got something to eat overnight. I'm going to come back down in a second with a new feed pusher that Craig's been busy making the last couple of days and just push everything in tight for them so they got it overnight. These animals will be all weighed, so there's 54 I think in the group. They averaged uh, just under a kilo live weight gain per day, so it was like 998 grams each or something. There was two animals that had lost a little bit of weight, um, so we have to keep a really close eye on them. There was one animal that hadn't hardly done anything, that sort of stood still. But um, the majority of them 
were between five or six hundred grams and one and a half kilos lightweight gain, uh, which is really good. We're really happy with these. So these guys here, the uh, what we call the techno carbs, uh, dairy cross carbs we got, they're on first cut silage, uh, a kilo per head per day of sugar beet and half a kilo per head per day of wheat distillers. So they should be growing. Um, they're gonna have to move on to second cut silage soon because we're running out of first cut bales. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really happy with them. Obviously we're gonna have to keep an eye on the couple there that aren't doing so well. But um, I'm a lot more hopeful for them now than I was when we bought them in because oh, they were not looking very good. Craig's um, been busy making a new feed pusher. We've got a twin, a twin like rotor wheel one that we use on the uh, other farm that Phil has at Rowden. And it's really, really good, we really like it. And it's been back here for a while because it had to be loader tested. And we sort of missed it when it went. So Craig's made one with a single big wheel on so we can push up. Saves doing it with that thing I made, like the snow plow. Um, nothing wrong with the snow plow. The metal's a bit bent. Obviously nothing to do with my ability at welding and obviously to do with the uh, strength of the steel. So Craig's made one out of proper heavy gauge steel um, with a rotating wheel on it. We'll go get it, have a look at it. And uh, I think it's gonna be just the job. Well, that worked all right. So here it is, big tire on a spinny piece of steel. We would have made a twin one, um, but Craig had the solid piece of steel and the collar left over from the last one he made. And to buy another bit to go there, you do not want to know the cost of. So made this one, we had this bogey wheel lying around, so that's on the bottom just to run on the floor if it needs to, and also when you want to unhook it, it's what I've got to stand. But I'll show you a bit more in the morning when it's lighter. See you in the morning. Right, good morning. Another day on the farm has begun. We've got the silage pusher here. We're gonna come and push up the shed. Everyone's been shut back in their pens because if we pushed it up, we wouldn't, would struggle to shut them back because they'd be trying to eat. So shut them back first, push up the silage, and then we'll start doing a mix um, to feed them again. John will come and scrape this out. You can have a bit of a better look at this thing in the daylight. So this is all made from recycled bits of other machines. So obviously we had a tire off a trailer at some point. Craig's made this bracket out of some steel we had. Um, the solid bar that goes down through there, that was left over from when he made the red pusher that Phil uses at Rowden. He's drilled in a grease nipple so he can grease it. This was an old bale spike. You can see there's bushes down here for spikes to go in. Um, don't know why it wasn't a bale spike anymore, but that was there wanting to be done with something, so he used it. And I believe this wheel it was off the back of an old topper. Um, again, it was sat in the scrap pile, so we use it for a stand on this. Um, yeah, it works perfect. Let's push in some grass and let's do a mix and let's get these cows fed for the morning. And another day on the farm will be well on its way. does a splendid job as you can see. We'll go and unhook it now. Should sit on that wheel perfectly. that round if you want to just to make it perfectly square but you don't have to look at that that's pretty cool that little dolly wheel I was watching one of Tom Pemberton's videos yesterday and of course he has the same crush as we've got here the Q-catch Camaro Quip but his is slightly different on his he's got the hydraulic front rams so he can lift it up and down to take his wheels off um, with a little motor we got this thing that we have to wind in and out and he asked me on a uh, YouTube comments, how long does that take? That takes a very long time, because you've got to do this side, then the other side for a bit, then this side for a bit, then the other side for a bit. Um, the hydraulic ram 
obviously is more expensive but it does take a lot less time but the actual crush itself I really really like uh, I think Tom likes his as well awesome bit of kit we are powering on this morning we started loading the wagon we made a hell of a dent in this silage already this pit ain't gonna last too long the um, shear grab starting to shine up a bit now which is nice cuts the blocks out a bit better morning everyone Josh has left his camera unattended, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you a little joke. It's a Jethro joke, for those of you are familiar with Jethro. It's about the time the gorilla escaped from the zoo and went up my tree in my garden. So they sent out a man in a van, he turned up, he got out, he had a shotgun and a dog. And I said to him, what's all this for then? He said, well, I'm going to go up the tree shake it and then when the gorilla falls out the dog is trained to bite the gorilla's balls so hard he'd be partially paralyzed and put him in the van right so what's the shotgun for then ah well if i fall out of the tree shoot the dog We are um, running out of the first cut round bales for these pails. We feed with this mix, the ones that you saw us weighing yesterday. So I've got three left of the round bales they're feeding. So what I'm going to do is um, instead of giving them just round bales, put one bale in each mix and make up the rest of their silage with the pit stuff because they'll have to transition onto that. Um, it's just slightly better for them to do it over two or three feeds rather than one day having round bale silage and the next day having clam silage. So it's got their straights to put in as well, their decillus grains and their sugar beet. And then we'll top it up with silage and we'll feed them. Grab is now sort of all shone up. It's done a week or so's cutting. It just slices through the pit a lot easier. I did sharpen it up before we started, absorbing grease. We put side sheets on our pit this year. Um, haven't done that here previously, the last two years. I don't know what other people do bother putting up side sheets and on the other farm we put the uh, cling seal that you put on the top on the sides so it'll be interesting to see how well those pits keep and you see on the bottom of the grab there there's a tine missing it's there um, need to get that one out and replace him so we'll do that this morning right guys i'm gonna let this mix up and then feed it out. You guys have seen a lot of feeding recently and I want to do sort of a morning routine video as well so we'll save the feeding out for another day. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've um, been flying through subscribers recently. I really do appreciate everyone that's come to watch the videos and sticking around and subscribing. To check out the links in the description there's all my other social media links down there as well as where I get my songs from for Joan shops and that sort of thing and also a link for merch if anyone wants any merch and yeah thanks for watching we'll see you in another video very soon cheerio